Hello and welcome to part 12 in my panoramic photography tutorial series. My name is Florian. I still run the website pano.ie where I show all my panoramic photography, the panoramas that I take myself, but I've also created in the last three years that I've not made a new tutorial, I've created the page panoguru.com and you can see um, well, well, here I compile all my tutorials and, and questions that I get and answer via email, FAQs and so on, as well as testimonials because people uh, do hire me for their bigger projects or just some proper consulting. So if you're, you know, if you earn your money doing this or you want to earn money or you're a commercial photographer, please do not hesitate to, to hire me properly. But anyway, uh, enough of the shameless plugging. Today's topic is about what happens when you, you've just bought your new, uh, you want to get started, you've been recommended to buy a Samyang uh, 8mm fisheye lens to get started, and then you, you take your first set of images, you put them into your stitcher, and it just doesn't work. The problem with this is that the stitches, they require some, or they really need some information about what kind of lens you used when you shot those. And then depending on what your camera does, it'll it'll write also either wrong information or it won't write any information into the EXIF data. And in that case, well, the only solution is that you need to manually set those parameters. And this is actually what I want to show you today. I don't have this lens, but I was uh, graciously given a set of sample images by my friend Clint Lawrence from Australia. And also uh, a gentleman that just emailed me not too long ago. And it turned out that he basically had exactly this problem and I'm allowed to use his images as well. And he also actually prompted me to create this um, this tutorial. So let's get going. What happens? Pitigui. I have these uh, images shot with the Samyang or Bauer or Rokino or whatever that lens is called in your case. I'll chuck him into here. And then, first of all, for some reason, the 7D that this gentleman used, the Canon 7D, uh, decided to call uh, to write into the EXIF information that it's a 50 millimeter lens, which is completely wrong. It's like an eight or nine millimeter fisheye lens. So let's see what happens. Usually it's com it can be anything. It'd be quite inconsistent, but yeah, this is kind of bad. It didn't stitch properly. It doesn't. Um, it only stitches three images together, and even there, there's some problems. So yeah, let's not uh, do this. Let's manually take Pitigui by the hand and put in the appropriate parameters. So first of all, we're not going to use the automatic setting, but we're going to use manual. So the lens type, there's two. It's a fisheye, we know this, but there's two selections, and this confuses people. There's a circular fisheye setting and a full-frame fisheye setting. The full-frame here doesn't talk about your sensor size, so that you have a full-frame camera or a crop camera, because in this case here, we have a crop camera. Now, what the full-frame refers to is whether the image that this lens produces in your camera covers the entire sensor area and in this case as you can see the whole sensor area is covered with with your image so that's good and in that case we want to select full frame fisheye when we use the full frame camera later on I'm jumping ahead a little bit but here you will see that this isn't the case the entire sensor isn't covered with image there's lots of black stuff around and in this case you want to use the circular fisheye but anyway we're in the crop case not to confuse you too much um, and then we put in the focal length. We could put eight millimeters in, but the lens is actually seems to be closer to nine millimeters. So the easiest is to just put in nine straight away. The focal length multiplier, that's another word for your crop factor of your camera. In this case with the 7D or the Canon APS-C sensors is 1.6, uh, but Pitigui has this has set this correctly by all by itself. But once we manually uh, take it by the hand and put in these settings, we can align the images and the stuff just works out beautiful we have this panorama, it wraps around, there's no real stitching errors, and we can do the rest. Now, what's gonna happen in the full frame case? It's There's one additional step needed, and I'll show you that. So now we have the full frame images. So again, that Samyang lens attached to a full frame camera, and I think in this case, it's a Canon 5D Mark II. Mm, for some reason, these images didn't contain any EXIF information at all. So Pitigui actually prompts us with this dialogue and says, you know, no EXIF data was found. What's up with this? Well, you just take it by the hand. You say, well, look, it's a, it's a focal length of, again, 9 millimeters, And the crop factor uh, is 1 because it's a, it's a full frame camera. So 9 millimeters and 1. And then you will see Pitigui figures out that it should be a circular fish eye. And that's correct. But there's one important extra step you have to take, and that's to go to the crop tab in your full frame camera case. It's beautifully confusing with all these terms. But anyway, you go to the crop tab and you need to adjust that circle here. Um, let's take, I think the second image is a bit easier to see. And we'll just adjust it. Roughly, we'll adjust this in here and um, make sure you stay away from these murky edges. And then, yeah, 
once you've adjusted that, that, that image circle, then you can go align images and bah, 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 it stitches nicely. So let's have a look at that panorama of that beautiful concert hall. It just stitches well because, you know, you can see it's a, a tripod, panoramic tripod head was used. Um, yes, it's not, a, it's, it's, the verticals aren't aligned, but that's uh, not the, the main issue here at hand was that we didn't have the appropriate EXIF information and we put in this this information by hand. So let's just uh, summarize again. If you have a crop sensor, so an APS-C sensor, be it Canon, then in the focal length multiplier is 1.6, or if you have a, a Nikon or a Sony or whatever, it might be 1.5 or something else. But anyway, in that case, for that Samyang lens anyway, you want to put in, in this case, that it's a full frame fish eye and your nine millimeter. And then you don't need to adjust anything else. You just go align images. In the full frame camera case, like a Canon 5D, uh, you want to set the lens type as a circular fish eye. Again, for this specific combination of you know full frame camera and that Samyang lens, set it to circular fish eye, horizontal field of view is 180 automatically selected. And then in the additional step, you go to the crop tab and you adjust that image circle like I just showed you. The same actually also applies if you have the Peleng lens, a beautiful Ukrainian made lens, I think it is. It's the one that I also started with. You will see this in the very first tutorial that I put out. In that case, you probably want to put in like an eight millimeter because that one is more closer to an eight millimeter. But otherwise the settings are essentially the same. That's all I wanted to show today. Thanks for uh, listening me and I'll hopefully produce more tutorials in the future. Fingers crossed. Bye!